Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to quickly understand what are some of the very important worksheet operations that you will be doing every day, almost every day, right? So first thing is adding the new sheet, deleting the sheet, renaming the sheet, copying and moving the sheet or changing the sheet tab color or basically hiding and unhiding the sheet. So let's quickly go ahead and see how you can add a new sheet, right? So this is basically my workbook and by default I'm getting one sheet there, right? So within a workbook you can have multiple sheets. To add a sheet, so just click on this new sheet or plus icon and you'll see new sheet appears. Click on that and automatically there will be a new sheet with sheet 2 has been added, right? If you want to add more, keep clicking on this plus sign and you will see that multiple sheets are being added here. Okay, now this is important because say for example, you want to maintain one workbook, but then there is data that is being segregated into different sections, then you can have different sheets within single workbook, right? And maintain different set of data for a common uh, set of set, for example, people or employee, uh, if you are storing the employee data, then you can, you know, in, in one sheet, you can store the name details or the address details in the in the separate details. So accordingly, I mean, it's, it's just uh, how you are going Going to organize your data within different sheets so once you have added the sheets right how you can delete the sheet so simply for deleting a sheet you simply right click on the sheet that you want to delete and click on delete right so you'll get the delete option click on delete and the sheet will be deleted if you want to add again you will see that internally excel maintains the sheet so basically if you delete a particular sheet you can't recover it first thing uh, and so for example i delete this one as well right and there is no undo or redo in terms of sheet to be recovered or enabled right so sheet once deleted is deleted and then you have to basically if you're creating a new sheet you will see that whichever sheet has been deleted like four and five the counter will start from the next one so now sheet six has been started right so this is important thing now usually when you are adding sheet you will be renaming them right so how you can rename just right click and you'll see rename option here as well click on rename and say for example this is test data right so i have renamed the sheet to test data and similarly you can rename other sheets in this particular workbook what are the other options you can move or copy right so to move or copy there are multiple options basically so i can simply just click on left click right on the sheet and then move at any location which you are seeing right so there is a small triangle that you see so if i drop this sheet here now the sheet test data sheet will be between test sheet uh, sheet 2 and 3 right you will see test data has been moved if i want to move it to the last then i will simply move it at this particular location and the sheet will be moved at the last to move it to the first location i'll simply move it to the first okay so you have to make sure where, wherever you want to drop then you have to make sure the cursor or the icon the triangle icon is appearing at that particular location now the next thing we have understood about adding deleting renaming now we have moved the sheet the location right now so for example i want to copy the sheets right so to copy simply right click and go to move or copy and here i can move the selected sheets or i can click on create a copy right so if i'll say create a copy then a copy of sheet 2 or let's say select test data and i'll click on create copy and then it will create a copy to which workbook whichever you will select here right so if i select a new workbook it will create a copy of test data sheet into the new workbook okay but let me create a copy in this book 4 first and then click OK, you will see test data 2 has been created, right? So it's a copy that has been created into the same sheet. If I want to create or create a copy into the new sheet, I will simply select or new workbook. I'll select the new book. Okay, let me select the test data first, create a copy, check that box and click on new workbook and then click OK. You will see a new book workbook has been opened with book five and the test data sheet has been copied into this particular workbook. Okay, so that's how you will basically create a copy. Then there is another important thing which is changing the sheet tab color right so if you want to have a segregation or basically visually it's good if you see different colors for the tabs right so just right click and you'll see the tab color option i can say i just want to see this tab color as red then i want this one as green right so you'll see different 
colors are being available and you can create or you can choose any of the standard color or any of the color that are available here to choose more colors you can open the color palette and choose the custom color as well okay pretty simple but very helpful options to choose from okay if you want to remove the color say for example i don't want to have the color i'll simply select right click go to tap color and click on no color right so the color will be removed okay now many times you do not want to delete the sheet right so say for example you do not you have the data you have the data for a particular project that you want to keep within the sheet but you do not want to show it to the users so in that case what you can do is you can hide the sheet so instead of deleting you can simply say right click and click on hide right so the sheet Three has been hidden if you if you want to hide another sheet right click and click on hide right so in this case both of those sheets have been hidden if you right click now you will see unhide is available if you click on unhide you can unhide the sheets right so you can unhide one or more sheets you can you'll see that it's giving the recommendation you can click control key and mouse left key so i can click control and select uh, the mouse left key and select multiple sheets to unhide and then click ok and you'll see both of the sheets started appearing there okay and now if there are no sheets to show or unhide you'll see unhide has been disabled all right you can select all sheets okay and then do any of the options say for example i want to select all sheets or ungroup sheets then i can select all sheets and ungroup these sheets okay or right click select all sheets and hide all of them together okay so i can say hide and you'll see that the option a workbook must contain at least one visible worksheet so to hide delete or move selected sheets you must first insert a new sheet right so all of the sheets cannot be hidden okay so at least one sheet needs to be there in the worksheet that's very important to understand so i can just say select all sheet and then press control to deselect one of that and then hide the remaining right so you will see that only one sheet is remaining and in just one click i'm able to hide all of the remaining sheets from the workbook okay so these are some of the operations which are very helpful the worksheet operations that you will be using mostly every you know day in any sort of project when you're working with the excel workbooks so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching and see you in the next lecture